Practice set 3-6 involves percent, increase, and decrease problems. Let's solve two of them together that involve a percent increase. We will be using the formula part over base equals rate over 100. And it's important that we are able to identify these three components correctly. Number one, the average price of gasoline rose from 92 cents to $1.15 in four months. What was the percent increase of the price of gas? My percent increase is the rate that I'll be looking for. The number when you have problems that go from one value to another, the number that came before the change is your base. It's a good thing the B matches for both words. The number that comes afterwards is the current value, and this took four months. First, let's find our part, which will be the change, the increase, the current, minus the before, values. In our problem we have the current value of $1.15 and before of 92 cents. So that increase is gives me a part of 0.23. Now I place these numbers into my formula. I have part over base base is always the number that came before the change equals rate over 100. Cross multiplying, I multiply the two numbers on the diagonal, 0.23 times 100, and divide by the number on the diagonal with my unknown, 0.92, and my calculator gave me 25 I include a percent symbol, and that's my increase. Had a 25% increase. Let's try one more together. Looks a little different. A secretary used to type 60 words per minute. That will be the base before any change took place. Through additional practice, she can type 20 words per minute faster. What was her percent increase? The percent increase is the rate that I'm looking for, and I'm actually given the change in this case. 20 words per minute faster is the part, the change. There's no need to do a subtraction because they give me the part. Putting these into my formula, I have part over base is rate over 100. My rate is 20 times 100 divided by 60. My calculator gave me 33 and a third percent for the increase. And I've rounded to the nearest tenth of a percent.